Okay, so here is the speed and strength hammer down armored hoodie and it's called the armored hoodie because it's got armor in it. I'll show you what it looks like. See proved armor, which is called the vault here on the back the shoulders, and then the elbows, which all can be removed and replaced if need be, and then you can wash it separately. One of the best things about this hoodie is that it is well ventilated, as you can see inside here. There are many areas for the air and your sweat to escape from, which is exactly what I needed from my summer riding. These do have belt holders that you can put on if you like to attach your pants to your jacket. And then you got drawstrings to keep yourself a little tighter if you want to, but I like the loose fit. With that said, let's put this on and let's go for a quick ride. Well, thanks for joining in everyone. This is Chris here from KS Moto Cafe. And today I'm here to talk about my three month owner's review of this armored hoodie called the Hammer Down from Speed and Strength Canada. And let me begin with the reason why I got this jacket. And it's because I could not find for the life of me an armored jacket that gives me protection on the road as well giving me a lot of ventilation through the chest and the arms during a hot summer riding because the jacket that I had previously which are all Speed and Strength Canada because I love their quality and the style of their gear it still gave me a lot of sauna action when the temperature went above 30 degrees Celsius and I thought damn man I can see why a lot of people squid because it is impossible to stay cool when you are in traffic in the summer but as of last year in 2021 carrying on to 2022 Speed and Strength Canada started carrying these armored hoodies which is kind of like a regular hoodie with a very similar ventilation where you've got all this wind going through your body cooling you down as you ride and even when you stop it's not as bad as a regular motorcycle jacket or a leather jacket that just keeps all that temperature and the hotness inside making you a portable easy bake oven and the benefit of this jacket and most of the speed and strength Canada gear is that it's got armor in three different locations one on both of your elbows both of your shoulders and one in the back and these are CE approved removable volt armor that you can take off easily by just stripping off the velcro and wash this jacket as you like and as a rider who really really wants to follow the at gat rule which is all the gear all the time I feel so much better being able to wear something like this where I can ride in the hot temperatures now maybe I should have gotten a different color if I wanted to stay cool because wearing all black definitely uh, makes it slightly hotter absorbing all the heat and the light but to be honest compared to my other riding jackets this hoodie is a godsend ah uh, I actually did end up riding in like plus 25 28 degrees I used to be cooking pretty hard on my other jackets some days I did cheat a bit because I'd rather ride than having hypothermia. So having ridden this for three months or so, I would say if you're looking for a jacket that you can wear in the summertime, but still want to remain well protected, try looking at the Speed and Strength Canada's hammer down jacket or any of their shirts or hoodies that has an armor protection on it because the quality of their jackets are superb. Now, can you wear this in the colder climates and colder temperatures? I actually did try wearing this in about 5 to 10 degree weather and man, it gets pretty freaking cold. So unless you're layering up underneath this hoodie, which could make your jacket a lot more bulkier, I would suggest having a separate seasonal jacket, one for the winter and the fall and one for the spring and the summer. Now, one thing I'd like to point out that I don't like about this jacket is the fact that it only has two pockets, one in the front left and the front right. So someone like me who needs to carry all these little things like GoPro batteries or my Insta360 stuff, my cell phone, all these little gadgets that, you know, motor vloggers have to carry on in the background that you guys don't get to see. I like having pockets so I can hide them away and I can keep it close to me so I don't have to go into my backpack. But honestly, this jacket itself isn't really my motor vlog jacket. It's actually my own personal feel the breeze jacket that I need during hot sunny days when I need some breathing room and this jacket definitely provides that for me. If you have any suggestions on the gear review or things that you see me wearing during my moto vlogs or any of my experience videos let me know in the comments below and I'll make sure that I make a video so that you guys get the fullest grasp on what it is like for me to wear these things throughout my motorcycling journey. So with that said ride safe, ride prepared, ride on, peace.